survival. Surviving what is arguably probably going to be a very, very bad January and February in crypto. That's what this video is about. And I've got some interesting insights for you. I want to show you a couple of stats and, and, and talk to you about uh, some things that I've noticed that um, millionaires are doing in this market to survive what is probably going to be a pretty rough, again, January, February, and maybe even rolling uh, for the first two quarters, Q1 and Q2 of 2023. Okay, so that's what this video is about. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button below and please drop a like on this video. And by the way, down below in the description is a link to my private members group, my Patreon group. And check that out if you're interested in more advanced stuff and more content specifically built for how to survive the crypto winter, this bearish cycle that we're in, that we're going to be in for a while. So I'm starting and starting in January, I'm going to be layering in a lot of new content for my members for that exact reason. Okay, so again, and you can message me and all that kind of stuff. All right. So with that said, let's talk about surviving the crypto winter, this bearish cycle that we're in. First and foremost, don't let your emotions get the better of you. And a lot of people, this is where they fail right out of the gate. They get in an emotional state. They see the entire market in a state of red and they just simply, um, you know, quite frankly, lose their proverbial stuff. Right. And so that's something that I don't want you to do. OK, so let's take a look at the overall market right now. So the crypto market right now is eight hundred and ten billion uh, and you've got Bitcoin and Ethereum, 16.8 and 1200 respectively. OK, so all indicators are and the technical analysis that some very smart people that I know that are running and they all they all kind of basically agree is that they're saying that Bitcoin most likely will go to 10,000 sometime in the first quarter to second quarter of 2023. And Ethereum could go to 600. Now, this is not me spreading FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. This is me telling you what, what I am hearing from other people that I trust, that I know, and that I respect, who do a lot of really high-end technical analysis, TA, uh, and, and, they're, and they're all kind of pretty much readily agreeing. Okay? So, again, don't let your emotions take hold, right? If you look at where you're at inside of your crypto holdings, and beyond that, have have a strategy, okay? Meaning, if you're if you need to get out now to maybe to uh, reserve some profit, consider that. Again, this video, by the way, invest not investing advice. Do what's right for you, okay? But basically, you have to decide if you want to get out now, if you're in profit, or in a different scenario, if you're not in profit, you've got to basically look and go, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna ride this I'm gonna ride this storm out. I'm gonna ride it out. OK, that's the other thing you need to look at. All right. So the other thing I want to show you that what I really wanted to show you was this. This is an analysis. This is wellstats.com free site. OK, so this is showing the top 100 well, what the top 100 Ethereum wallets. These are multi could be and sometimes hundreds of millions of dollars worth of crypto and stable are in these wallets. And it shows you that right now, total holdings of all tokens that whales are in are have. At, these, this is across the top 100 Ethereum well wallets. They have 724 million uh, and change in USDT stable, and they have 547 million and change in USDC stable. Okay, what does that mean? That means that the vast majority. Oh, by the way, there's other ones here. You, uh, you know, other ones here down below. You can kind of pause and take a look here. But what it really means is that is that the whales have moved to a stable stable coin position, i.e., cash. They've moved to a cash position, and that's important to note. Okay, so that's one way to really, really, really get through the uh, you know the crypto winter, this bearish cycle that we're in, is to move to a stable coin position, effectively a cash position, if you're able to. Because here's what here's the final thought and final note around this is that if we do see Bitcoin go to ten thousand, and we do see Ethereum go to six hundred then guess what? Those are all time lows and those can be amazing buying opportunities, i.e. having stable coin. That's why you see a lot of the whales moving into the stable coin position so that they, they're getting ready to do what? They're getting ready to buy when it goes really, really, really down in maybe January, February, also moving into you know Q, at the end of Q1 and, end of, and into Q2. Food for thought, okay? And again, I owe this to you as a service because you're a subscriber to my channel. By the way, if you're not already here, hit that subscribe button below, please, and drop a like on this video because that's what it's about. I want to help you navigate crypto. And that's why I thought that this was a really relevant video to make to show you 
what and you know what the whales are doing, right? And they're they're in a in a vastly um, large state of stablecoin, if you will, vastly large state. That was a weird, it was a weird turn of phrase, wasn't it? You get my point. All right. With that said, thank you for your support. Give us some thought. Go make some money. I'll see you.